this. We've got one more story for you here. More than 40 giant pandas are now outside of China. They're sending overseas mainly for diplomatic reasons and to educate the public as they're put on display in zoos. Liu Yang has more now why the panda program is important for conserving its population. When pandas are first born, they're so tiny and fragile. They weigh about one hundredth of their mother. It takes just 25 days for the panda's distinctive look to show, and at the age of two or three, some of the ones born in captivity, based on their health and genetic conditions, will be sent out of the country. A tourist visiting China from the U.S. state of Arizona loves seeing the pandas. I do think it's a good thing because uh, before now, the first time I'd ever seen a panda was at the San Diego Zoo. And there were two of them, which was amazing because they only had two. And I got to see both of them up close, so I had a really rare experience. And then coming here, I've already seen about 15 pandas. The giant panda is an endangered species and relies on conservation efforts. Experts say there are about 341 pandas living in captivity around the globe, and 41 have been rented out for research and education purposes outside of China. Professor Qi Dunwu says joint international research is the key for growing giant pandas' population. Uh, Although the panda population has been growing largely, we still need to improve the quality of the captive-bred pandas, such as on the genetics and returning pandas to the wild. Sixty national protection areas are located all in western China, but despite the efforts, only around 2,000 pandas are left in the world. The giant panda is not only the treasure of China, but the entire world. Experts say research about these magnificent animals is particularly important. The giant pandas currently on loan to other countries are primarily for the purpose of research. This is burned out by the fact that many research programs have been conducted with other countries. Continuous research will help to unlock many mysteries that will help conserve the giant pandas and the many other related species. Zoos overseas pay a certain amount of fees and sign several agreements for keeping the giant pandas. The director of the Sichuan Forestry Department's Wildlife Service says all the rental fees received globally have been reused for the giant panda conservation program. All the giant pandas overseas were selected from the captive pandas. They're not from wild. Through international science cooperation, the population of giant pandas will continue to grow. Giant pandas are among the most rare of the world's living mammals, and for China, it has also been considered as the panda diplomacy showing the country's prosperous relationship with others. It is also the world's responsibility to save this endangered species. Liu Yang, CCTV, Sichuan Province.